This one is coming up very shortly. The return of Dan QZ, now known as Daz QZ. He will take on Reed, uh, making his uh, competitive online debut tonight. He is literally, Reed is literally uh, coming straight from the airport <laughs> to come play this match. <laughs> <laughs> That's he is, incredible. <laughs> yeah, he, he didn't want to miss out. He says, I'll make it. But if you can try to make it 10 o'clock Eastern King, it'd be appreciated. So hopefully he'll be here shortly. But we'll take a about 10 minute break. And then we'll come back. You can see Reed and Dan throw it down. Stay tuned. Love the flannel coordination. Yeah, it's amazing, right, Scout? I mean, uh, they must have called each other up and said, hey, you guys take a picture. Yeah, let's just, you know, admire. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, what do you think? What do you think about uh, Dan switching over to Das full time now? Uh, you know, I get it because uh, I had to do the same thing. Uh, I wish I had uh, able to get a, you know, the max outs and great tournament plays before switching over, uh, like Dan was able to do. But uh, yeah, I think you know, a ton you can do within the game in Das. Um, and it probably is easier on your hands because I've, I've heard uh, I was talking to Jake after he won the CTM this past month he was telling me when he was just burning singles chasing down big score leads taking forever um, he wasn't doing that to be safe he was doing it to uh, rest his hands uh, and give them a bit of a break because they were killing him uh, so uh, hyper tapping is not an immediate cheat code uh, to winning uh, it can be exhausting for your hands can take a toll so you know i i get it <laughs> with dan switching over do you think scout that maybe down the road in the future that the hyper tapping uh might be lessened because of what you know you hear i mean you hear it's benefits right now but the long term uh could be a different story do you think it takes someone uh you know maybe five, ten years down the road when you hear they're having injuries related to that. Do you think that might change uh, the complexity of how the game is played? You know, it's possible. Uh, I was never quite into esports before the CTWC, uh, but I know I've, I've heard, you know, uh, peripherally things about, you know, uh, traditional esports, um, uh, like the longevity of careers being kind of short, uh, kind of people in the early 20s kind of peaking there uh, because of the stress on their hands. Uh, I don't think we've seen the CCWC exist at a high level for a long period of time so far. So I think we'll we'll see how long the careers of a lot of these top players last. Um, sure, we're we're kind of entering the third year of kind of the new era of the hyper tappers and the crazy community growth. So th I think we'll see. Um, you know. Uh, how long it'll be before a major player retires. Uh, I mean, hopefully the idea is that, you know, we'll have new new fantastic players every year. Um, so there'll never be, you know, like a shortage of excitement. Um, yeah. Let's have this time on the left hand side. He has returned to take on his opponent and to show that he still has whatever it takes to win a classic Tetris. Welcome back to the community, Dan QZ! And on the right hand side, it's opponent making his online competitive debut tonight. He is absolutely gonna show the world that that round zero win over Alex Kerr was no fluke, and that he's gonna get his retribution against Dan. Welcome, Reed! Dan gave All us right, a ready. Here we go. Oh, and of course, Gay Scout, sorry, my apologies. Gay Scout is here, ladies and gentlemen. You've heard him all night. He is still here. I'm much appreciated, sir. Thank you for hanging out with me tonight for all these epic matches. Heck yeah. It's going to be awesome. I see the chat has already started doing a countdown. They can't wait. They can't wait indeed. So, Reed, uh, give me a ready when you are absolutely ready to go. You look like you're ready. Just type ready in the chat, and then I will do a countdown from 321 Tetris uh, in the chat. Just follow it along. When you see Tetris, you start. It's time. Game Scout, go ahead, count them down. 
three, two, one, Tetris. Gosh. The bets are getting huge. Josh threw down 50 on Reed. Ian's dropping a billion on Dan. And Doge is dropping his whole life savings on Reed. Uh, people could... Uh, financially ruined or rich beyond their wildest dreams based on the results of this match. No pressure, Dan and Reed. None whatsoever. Somebody's life savings is at stake. And uh, hopefully uh, somebody will be richer, not poorer. But we'll find out. <laughs> so we go. Reed off to a nice start. There's a Tetris in. I'll go to 47,000. Dan at 47,000 as well. So early days. This should be absolutely uh, fun to watch. Uh, people are going to get a dose of Reed. Dan with a little bit of a misdrop of an LP. Sets up a delayed burn horizontal. And he's in a world of trouble to start now. Gotta get some helpful pieces. Uh, nice move to get that S all the way over. It's an annoying long bar dependency on the right, but looks like he got it open for the long bar just in time. Yeah, that perfectly timed long bar comes in to help bring that board down. Now he's going to set up to... He's got a bit of a tuck situation and an overhang at the same time, so... He's fixing, he's fixing it out. Dan is a pro. He is the CWC 2019 semi-finalist. But of course, that was when he was back tapping. He is a dasser now. He says he prefers to play the game that way. Not only because it saves his arm from the stress of the tapping, but it's actually, you know, Scout, I don't think you hear that too often, but he says he enjoys dasser. You know, I, I, I mean, there, there is a certain elegance to DAS when you, you, you have it under perfect control because you're just you're putting in so few inputs compared to hyper tapping where you're just kind of mashing a button, DAS, you just press it once, set it up, piece just goes where you want. It's like, I don't know. <laughs> it's, <laughs> Well, da jo Josh in the chat, Josh told the five time, five time, five time, five time, five time, five time CWC quarterfinals in the house. He says, Das is an art. I have to agree. You know, it is absolutely, when when you have that full Das charge and you are absolutely in control of the board, it feels like uh, utter poetry. You are doing art in motion. It, it feels so good when you have that control. Meanwhile, both players dead even in lines. Uh, Dan's got a little bit of a lead on Reed. About uh, 40,000 or so. Tetrises. Yeah, both have been kind of just getting in and out of trouble, but Dan has been scoring a little bit more effectively. Dan also a bit of a, of a lead in the long bar count. He's at 31 compared to Reed's 23, so that also plays a bit of a factor, too. Reed so the nice little stem. That column two Tetris. Yeah, you got the column two Tetris nicely. Dan, meanwhile, again at the top, having some trouble. Gets another Tetris in. Now he's got to work on... Oh, that L does not make it over left. This is absolutely dangerous now for Dan. Let's see what he can do. Gonna try for a long bar over there? Okay, yeah, he goes with the L. That's probably the one thing that could safely get over. Uh, the right pieces afterwards are just not coming. And that's going to be it. Dan is done at 245. So, Reed, your score to beat is 240. You need to get to 246, sir. If you can get to 246, and he will with that Tetris. Bang! Reed at 261. Starts off with a game one victory. GG's. Hey, person so. uh, who life savings on Reed, maybe breathing a little easier now. Just a slightly easier, yes. Yeah. So, Reed, you have taken game to one. Yes, there it goes. He knows. Top it out. Good job, sir. See, look at that. You already knew what to do. That's a pro right there, ladies and gentlemen. So, GG's game one to Reed. Feels good, man. Dan is ready to go. Reed says the delay is uh, pretty big. No problem. If you want to refresh my screen, go right ahead. 
you can refresh me. And Reed is ready to go. So let's do it. Count it down. Game number two starts in three, two, one. Tetris. Reed draws first blood with that double. I had a triple along with it. There comes the long bar. He'll get the Tetris. Reed at 30,000. Dan at 3,400. Uh, Dan's a little bit of an uncomfortable spot early. Uh, oh man, this could be really dangerous. Oh, that J is absolutely painful to watch. And that's gonna be it. Dan is done at 7,900. Oof. Oh dear. Yeah, that was a tough situation early on where it's like one missed drop at that height uh, can just cut off entire access to parts of your board. Um, uh. <laughs> not much, yeah, not much you can do at that point. So Reed, uh, 82,000, yeah, there you go. He heard the 5,900. You got way more than enough. You will take game two quickly. GG's. Then Michael J says the earliest of top outs. Perhaps it's a little bit of uh, uh, poetic justice. Reed had an early top out in game number three of their decider back at CTWC. So, you know, as mentioned, a little bit of poetic justice there. Three, two, one, Tetris. You guys are ready to go for this uh, crucial game three now for Dan. Scout, did you really think that Dan would be already in a crucial game three uh, this early? Uh, no, uh, I haven't seen him play too much with Das. Uh, I mean, I, I never want to expect that a player will be down early two games to none. Uh, Play top out. So though it can happen to anybody, uh, we've seen people, uh, you know, come back from being down two games to none. Uh, Dan's experienced it firsthand. Josh Tolls almost took him out himself after Dan took a two nothing lead on him. So Dan's still in this, uh, but Reed definitely has the upper hand right now. Uh, Dan's off to an early lead though. Looking like he's playing a little, little lower, a little safer this time around. So we'll see if uh, Dan can uh, maybe get things in order here. So he's shaking his head. Uh, as a DAS player, yeah, that's pretty common. Those uh, DAS head shakes, yes. <laughs> and while well, Reed is... Uh, Pretty much uh, playing pretty effective uh, here, Scout. He has maintained good boards uh, throughout. Uh, you know, didn't really get a high score in the first game, but was kind of just, you know, hanging in there. You know, didn't let uh, the board get out of uh, sorts. Uh, stayed with Dan throughout until Dan had the top out. Uh, you know, and we didn't get to see too much here in game number two due to the early top out. But for the most part, you know, and you saw in the warm ups too, Reed has a pretty uh, good dash control. So that is uh, coming of a top 48 finalist. Absolutely. Dan's looking real strong this game. 172,000 through 44 lines. 144,000. So he's he was down a bit, but he's making it up fast. It's a bit of a safety move right there, taking, I think, the double with the long bar and the... the, the... Well, he puts another long bar in column 10 without a Tetris. Is he setting up for a center wall now? Yeah, looks like he is, he is absolutely losing control, and that is going to be it! He's done! At 175, 940. Reed just added a single now, and he's got it. He's looking for center well, 
And he can take it if he wants. Reed, if you'd like, you can finish this game out. Down the middle. Bang! Tetris! Doge Reed. is rich tonight. He's got it. <laughs> and Doge must have known something we didn't. Indeed. Reed finishes it in style. Inside Intel there. There you go. Send the bell. Tells you, ladies and gentlemen, that's it. Reed seals the deal, and he's got the game in the match. GG's. There he is. Uh, well, you can't see it. You got to try to make him out from that group there. But he's in there. Just look for the guy with the flannel shirt, the trucker hat, and that's Reed. But uh, congratulations to him. Literally coming off the plane, driving home. And getting in about a 20 to 25 minute warm up to play this match. The warm up took longer than the overall match itself, but <laughs> nonetheless, Reed shows you that he is the first to get retribution tonight. And he has vanquished the demons of the past and is primed for CTWC 2020. Congratulations, Reed, on your first competitive win. GG. Yeah, pretty amazing that uh, that happened that quickly, honestly. Yeah. You know, we don't see uh, three and O sweeps in uh, the CTWC. Um, yeah, Reed showing he's no fluke. Um, I don't know uh, if maybe it was just a little rusty dash control for Dan tonight. Uh, he definitely was showing off some good moves. Uh, it's just... You know, Dennis always has that uh, the snowball effect when you have one bad move, it can lead to another. It's, it's tough. Dennis, Dennis is an art. It's a dangerous art. A uh, skilled profession. <laughs> yeah, without question, absolutely. Uh, but tonight's artist is Reed. He has painted the Picasso, and he gets the victory over Dan. Congratulations, Reed. That's a nice way to get your toe in the online community water. So hopefully we will see you at future events before CTWC begins. I know that is what you are currently working towards. So hopefully we'll see you on maybe one of the friendlies coming up on Monday or next Friday that I host. Monday night will be with the Burb Wizard. You can give him a follow at the Burb, B-I-R-B Wizard. He'll be on Monday. Tremendous job. Congratulations to you, Reed. Congratulations.